And welcome back guys to the LP of, you guessed it, Close Combat Cross of Iron. So the last time we finished Stalingrad, we finished the defense of Stalingrad and we lost the entire 6th army. Uh, great for us. Now the last time the fire baths were totally demolished, only 2 guys left with actually maximum experience and morale. But now because we added a bunch of other guys, <laughs> uh, the new guys, the fire baths are again on low. Why I actually am doing this in terms that because, you know, we don't really need them, we can get the new better squad, you know, we have MG42s, we may get anything better than fire bats. But the thing is, uh, most of the soldiers that were left in fire bats, if you go for the medals here and you go for the history, they were actually sent, uh, well, he, they were there for a very long time. The last two, as you can see, where are the fire bats? The fire bats, as you can see, these two were like since the second. Well, uh, one from the second chapter, at least, Coster, Cooster, whatever, you know. So, this is, uh, since second operation, okay? So, that's why I'm actually leaving them. You know, the medals, uh, I mean, uh, the Blomberg, uh, Blomberg got the War Merit badge, the Cooster did not, mind you. And as you can see, I have a huge amount of stuff uh, for my stuff here. The 88, the BFG actually have the Knight Cross, so the 88 uh, Gunner. Rob has the Knight's Cross, also has the Iron uh, Cross Second Class, has the Ward Merit Badge, has the Assault Badge, all the good stuff. As you can see, most of my guys actually have a lot of stuff. Not really, but okay, at least the BFG does. Also, the Sniper D got Iron Cross First Class. Oh, kind of cool, mind you, because that's kind of cool. <laughs> so, Fradi. Fraddle, whatever, got the Iron Cross first class, and that's okay, good and sexy. So we got uh, all of our squads ready. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna first brief you on the briefing and the operation. <laughs> so the German Operation Star, January 30th, 1943. The Sixth Army in Stalingrad is doomed. Reconnaissance reports the Bolsheviks are massing tanks and infantry. Intelligence indicates the Soviets will attempt a breakout and drive for the Dnieper River crossings. Your objective is to delay the Soviet attack until reinforcement can be brought forward. Your new command consists of whatever troops are left of Kamgrufe camp. The frozen ground will make digging in difficult, but will make cross-country move impossible. Use the hilly terrain to your advantage, oh, and we will. <laughs> Uh, Stalingrad is lost, but that does not mean the Bolsheviks have won the war. Intelligence suggests the enemy is massing for a drive towards Kharkov. Your objective is to stop the Russians before they can get started. Your command is attached to the camp group Kampf. Because of the losses at Stalingrad, the units from which you can select are limited. Consider adding a command vehicle to give you mobile firepower and improve command and control. You'll want to add 80 firepower, but don't waste 80 rounds on infantry. Save this for tanks that are sure to come. You can sweep the battlefield north of the river from the two ridge lines in your possession, but the enemy can cover the first ridge with fire from the hills in his possession. Don't ignore your south flank. The frozen river can be used as a tank route. The odds are against you, but skill and determination will pay off. To victory well in victory oh well anyway so we had two operations and we still did not get the major rank that is so that's okay <laughs> that's okay i already have enough and i wouldn't know even what to buy next but i'm definitely waiting commander dread to get uh you know we finish this we'll probably get a lot of points if we do well and get finally tiger <laughs> tiger dread tiger okay so map is this I actually went in just to check out what I can wear position immediately. So I, we don't have to really, you know, take time like usually I do with this setting up crap. So I already have what I would do immediately here and there. When I, where would I set up stuff? So anyway, let's begin. So everything is ready. Everybody's ready. Everybody's a okay. Great. Whatever. So let's minus this crap. Put the BFG, well, BFG is already there, so BFG is in a perfect position from this building to shoot anything, almost anything actually, uh, across the entire field, okay? So all in all, BFG perfect position and he will actually immediately defend. Now let's, blue and red will actually stay in the positions they are, 
here actually blue will stay here N now let's see let's set up the good stuff here first and foremost so the uh, who the hell uh, the fire bats will actually stay here actually because they have low stuff they will actually go into the front actually here and uh, near this uh, downed airplane uh, where they can actually ambush enemies you know the groovy stuff the sniper D will go immediately over here and sneak towards the enemy positions to get the overview and get those mortars uh, next will be the sin the sin and most of my actually heavy machine gunners will actually uh, go on these positions on the ridge line here from which we can defend immediately open fire towards enemy positions Commander Dread will stay in the behind right here and immediately, if need be, move in and start shooting at the enemy. Now, the thing is, wow, actually, we are able to shoot from this position and actually shoot at the enemy. Wow, that's new. I didn't expect that. I didn't actually know that. As you can see, there's like a little open area for us to shoot at. Hopefully, we don't get destroyed by something. That's good, actually. <laughs> that's good. I didn't see that before, so that's awesome. So we have that open area. I'm a little bit worried that he might actually get opened by something, but we shall see soon enough. Mind you, he's the only one to able, alongside with fire bats, to do some kind of damage if they roll tanks towards this position here. Now BFG again can cover most of the position, so that's okay there. Uh, who the hell are you? Vipers. Viper will actually move here, onto this little uh, trenches here, and cover these positions with whatever they can. Ripley will go with them and go inside the woods here and cover that those position there. In ambush form you know like Viper will cover them Ripley will like, destroy tanks if need be hopefully there are no tanks in that but we will be able to actually stop them the imps will actually go here on this part here and cover the positions here they immediately on defend a demon will stay here actually uh, maybe actually you know he's gonna stay on the <laughs> yeah I think demon should stay where he is now and Chubbs will actually move towards this position here and go and get yeah perfect so he will also immediately open fire only the ripley will be uh, in the ambush form red and blue on defense immediately uh, wolf squad will go here because we definitely need more support we definitely need support here uh, not there get inside there hopefully did you get inside that is the question okay they're inside but as you can see they're just a bunch of troops so yeah kind of problematic there like that so berserker actually will stay not like that not like that like this actually you know cover a little better i think here yeah definitely better you have like a triangle formation a wolf because they have so many men i think this is perfect position at least one man outside you know and all that uh hopefully i can actually put you a little bit here maybe no i can't okay okay now they're perfect excellent Nobody's outside, everything is A-OK. -okay. I will stay here actually and defend like a bitch. Uh, the thing is, again, we have a nice, yes, we definitely have a nice area of effect. Do I mind you, actually, I will maybe put myself in a different position. We are overly open and we are very important. If we die, everything is lost. So this battle could go very bad if I am screwed up. So. Uh, yes, at least I can support him from this position. I'm not very important, and honestly, what I have is not really gonna do anything. At least I can give morale to my troops, if anything else. So, that's it. That is the setup. So, that's how, how we're gonna go from now on. A Berserk, can you at least get this one person inside, please? Like, wow, really? One guy doesn't wanna uh, enter. Okay, he only has, like, a pistol and assistant. But he should be able to go inside. Hopefully, the my friend here, Sniper D, because he's so freaking lucky, he won't be able to be... Well, they won't see him. But again, who knows. Now, I have to worry about two targets. The Commander Dread and the BFG. The BFG needs to immediately open fire upon the enemies. As soon as they are able. Uh, the Imps, let's see the Imps. Just to see if my all my units are actually in correct positions. Yes, they are, but again, one person is outside. Always a bad thing to have one, and it's a leader also. So kind of bad if we have a leader outside. Yeah, and now a little bit. Oh, this is a thing better. This is better. At least one behind the tree, and that is the leader. Here, as you can see, the positioning of the Viper, positioning of the Chubbs, and of course the Ripley, perfect. If the enemy actually does try to go, I can BFG them, hopefully. 
so that's it. That is the beginning and this is the end of the enemy force. The enemy armada, that is. <laughs> so Sniper D immediately moving towards the enemy position, whatever this star is, the star of evil. Let's see the star, what is the name of that star? Hill 227 and we have, what is this? Yeah, to whatever. So yeah, all good stuff, right there, right there. And again, I can cover most of my areas. I can cover the, the two kill to the one with the BFG, the important thing. And I have a feeling that most of them are still behind the ridge here and the hill that is. And of course, and there they go, there they go, there they go. Come on, tell me that there is a good thing for me here. Come on, can I? T-34, T-34, oh, can I open fire? No, he's pulling back. He's pulling back, I think. He's pulling back. Maybe. Maybe he wants to shoot us. Ah, the stuff of legends. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna say the uh, ambush for now because we definitely don't have a sight towards that T. Come on. Oh, man, why there, bastard? You bastard, why there? I can't even seem. I can't shoot. Oh, they're shooting at us. Wow, I'm not even noticing. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, we definitely got owned a little bit. Main guy damaged, actually. Quite bad situation for us. Enemy being opened fire by the Viper there. Okay, Dread almost got owned. I would say that was very bad for us definitely bad that t3442 unbelievable firepower of that battle station is just ridiculous if we get a little bit closer that would be awesome a little bit closer that would be awesome please get a little bit closer okay so ripley opening fire the t34 actually has a side towards us so kind of problematic uh, we also have valentine <laughs> valentine there I'm, I still can't shoot any of these bastards. There's always a problem of shooting the enemy tanks. Always. It has to be something. So still the enemy is trying to push through the woods to the fort. But not doing great to be honest. And the BFG can't do anything yet. Yet people. So I'm gonna hide these bastards. Ambush. Ambush because if we open fire here, they will build they will die. That is a fact. Oh my god. There's a kv1s fall back Fall back So at the moment the biggest fight is here, but the enemy positioning it there is uh, quite bad for us because the BFG can't touch any of these tanks at all So at, at the moment the enemy is uh, looking towards us here you know, looking towards us and maybe moving. Maybe we can lure them towards the positions where we're actually opening fire and we're actually fighting in. Because that is the point. Just open fire, Viper opening fire, Ripley opening fire, uh, Chops opening. Dread is really screwed, honestly. We have l uh, incapacitated people here. Quite bad, actually. This is a very, very bad situation for us. Uh, he's of course now A-OK, -okay, but I did not expect him to get on that easily. Uh, very bad. Request, the <laughs> Russians request truce per usual, but I'm not gonna give them that advantage. At the moment, we are kinda screwed. I was hoping, but do not worry, the Dread will get a better tank maybe if we actually kill these bastards. If we kill them. That is the thing. Now, I should open with the sin on this bastard because if this bastard get over, they, they might see most of our guys. But you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna bomb the fucking crap out of them. You know, I'm gonna bomb the crap out of them. I have no idea what this infantry actually is. But... Blue and red will open fire. Can I actually destroy that? No, Valentine, definitely none of these tanks can be actually damaged with our 82mm mortars. Definitely not. 
there's another squad there now I, i'm gonna try and force them to get overly too close towards our position so we can actually crap them up with a b f g valentine please <laughs> come close i will open because i definitely need that kill at least one kill and they're definitely holding off a oh, little bastards they're def definitely holding off we might even take that truth because we can't do anything against t-34 as i see if we had the freaking tank that is actually useful this would have been awesome but no uh, <laughs> i mean wow man just wow uh, who, uh, who got shot by that big uh, 76 millimeter gun okay that's actually sin wow really sin got owned people sin got owned heavily so definitely big losses for us to be honest I have no idea who's dying here. But it will seem the enemy is dying. BFG. Oh man, I just need you to get a little bit close, please. Okay. Definitely Sniper D might actually be doing this. But no, definitely not actually. Oh, it's the sin opening far like a boss. You know, it's like, you know what, screw you fuckers, I'm gonna open for and kill every last one of you fucks. Yes? Oh no, come on, get a close a little bit, come on, it's not that hard. Stop firing, stop firing. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with this. I mean, we're not doing absolutely anything to them. They have 310 KV-1S, T-34-42, and uh, a Valentine MK-3. And this bastard ain't doing shit. They're not even moving anymore. Yeah, they're not even moving anymore. This bastard ain't doing shit. They're not even moving anymore. Okay, they're not even moving. They want the truce. This will actually help us. We might even get points for this, but we lost actually a lot of stuff. Okay? We definitely lost a lot of stuff. They're trying to play smoke. They're not doing crap. We have two dead. The sin is dead completely. These far bats are doing absolutely nothing that I want them to do. It would seem. <laughs> okay. Drop that smoke, you fucktards. I have no idea who is actually dying, but this is ridiculous. Honestly, you hear all these uh, dying screams, but you don't know actually who is dying now. You know, I'm gonna recheck most of my squads here. Definitely nobody... Uh, of course, again, we lost Sin. Well, almost lost the Sin. We lost also someone else, definitely. I'm gonna tell Ems to fire if they are able. Oh man, such a sadness right there, people. I mean, the BF motherfucking G can do shit. If we get truce, what they hold is what they hold. And that's okay, I think that's better, actually. Better do that now than later. Because, honestly, uh, I think I'm losing here. You know, definitely losing. At the moment, because I, I mean, Dread uh, uh, got owned. Uh, the uh, the leader is dead. Klein is dead. Byer is dead. Loader and assistant. There is only like a driver and a machine gunner. I didn't really expect the report just to open. As you can see, that 76 mil, well, 76 is 42. I think it's a 76 millimeter. Uh, yeah, definitely a 76. I think. So, all in all, yeah, they request it, but they ain't moving at all. So, I'm gonna try and bomb at least, if nothing else, bomb most of my uh, the enemies here. You know, do the bad, <laughs> maybe force them a little bit. I have no idea anymore. Who knows? I mean, as you can see, the penetration, I mean, I would expect at least that mortars would do something from that, you know, angle of fire. But definitely we'll take the truce actually, because uh, we have to replenish the forces and maybe we get 
a better tank this time around but again I'll have to repair maybe a Panzer 3 H version 50 mm shit this Panzer I mean definitely we are losing because of we don't have tanks we don't have a mobile force okay a mobile force and the enemy doesn't dare move any closer <laughs> it's like you know we are afraid as you know uh, so much it's ridiculous okay stop firing I'll try and locate most of the enemy units if possible uh, you know to at least force them to retreat if nothing Cossack's ATR team dead Cossack uh, uh, light mortar team actually we destroyed we also killed a bunch of guys here, that is the Cossack Rifle Squad, to surrender. And this might actually be again one of the stalemates, because I really don't want a stalemate, I want a good victory. But it would seem that because of the losses we have uh, sustained in Sin, and again we sustained losses on Commander Tank, thankfully did not lose the Commander Tank, we can repair it at least if nothing else. And they, definitely the enemy ain't moving those T-34s or anything. Now I can try and outflank them with the barbats, but we know how th that actually goes on this open terrain and they might actually cl clearly see yeah, firebats when they open fire on anyone here and they're dead. So yeah, kinda bad, kinda bad. So yeah, definitely thinking again the same tactic, again, and this time less people on this point and maybe put the 88 there. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave the 88 where it is. I think it's a perfect position against the mortar attacks and most of the stuff. Still hoping a maybe, uh, you know, just for a nice kill uh, of some infantry here. I mean, oh man, I just like they're teasing me. They're teasing me. But yeah, I'm gonna go with truce. Okay, so. Uh, the four strength plus 20. They're still holding the same thing. We're all, oh, everything is the same. Uh, wounded three, two dead. Uh, yeah, all in all, we are a okay, but nothing special. Minor defeat, it would seem. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Yes, yes. Well, we'll accept that because I accept it. Uh, minor defeat, uh, damaged. 31 points. We can't definitely get a tank for that, but we no, we can't even refit our stuff. Oh man. Now we can get the heavy machine gun SS42 uh, uh, actually. So that would actually be awesome for 20 points. You know, that's awesome, right? So yeah, we'll probably get that. And again, Bell on the same map, same position. So hopefully this time actually we kill the enemy. <laughs> Because the point is to defend this, uh, this operation is to defend, so we, as long as we defend this one area as for uh, as, as long as needed, we'll win. So if Firebats gain a little bit of experience, uh, Sin will probably lose a lot of experience because we're gonna gain a new squad. Only 31 points, we had 9 I think, or 3, I don't know, rem I don't rem remember that well, but uh, all in all, we gain a little bit of points. For victories we'll gain more of course, but that's it for this one, all best.